Welcome back everybody. As the title of the video indicates, today we are going over this kit here from Safe Life Defense. So basically what it is, is it is their concealable carrier, which we've already tested. Uh, basically this is filled with level 3A armor and that will stop, of course, pretty much all pistol rounds out there. And this stuff is actually special rated for uh, civil defense, nine millimeter or civil liberty. I can't remember which. Regardless, it's one of those Gucci 9mm rounds, and it also is rated to stop 5.7. Um, so a lot of 3A isn't, so that certainly is interesting. And with the kit, you get two plates as well. So these are level 4 standalone plates. At least that's what it says anyway. Um, so we're going to test that here in just a second. But they claim that, of course, with this combination, you get level 4 protection in this area. And then you also get the benefit of having the ability to cover up your sides and get that added protection that you wouldn't get with just plates. I mean, you're getting considerably more uh, protection with the 3A, of course, that's not going to stop rifle rounds though. So just know that going into it. But what we're gonna do is kind of go over the setup here and then start shooting it. We'll go over the carrier itself here before we actually start shooting it. So you can see there, we do have our hook and loop portions there and the straps that tension them down are removable so you can set them up in all different positions and when you do so guys just when you're wearing it you want some sort of overlap that sort of is the goal and to achieve that you have to you have to have the right size rather so this is a size large and just for reference i'm six feet tall i have a 42 inch chest um, so it fits me you guys can see me wearing it so it fits me pretty well um, but they do have a size chart over there and they do offer way larger sizes in terms of armor than most companies do so if you're a bigger guy definitely check that out so up front here we don't have anywhere to attach anything so you can't attach any types of mag patches or anything like that so just kind of know that going forward but again it's designed to be concealable and i would say for me anyway like if i'm wearing a hoodie or a jacket you totally could obviously a t-shirt something you're not you're, you're gonna know it's there up top we do have this pouch here and that's where your plates are going to go in if you want to wear them with the plates as well and get that rifle rated protection up here we do have the adjustable shoulder straps and you guys can see it has box stitching there on the rear and you can adjust it to get the armor at the right height where you want it and just for folks that don't know generally speaking people who aren't used to wearing armor will tend to wear it lower than where you should you guys can see an image here on your screen that's where your plate should be for maximum protection um, but looking on the inside here you guys can see it has good ventilation all the way around no issues with that it says right on there the actual carrier itself does not give you ballistic protection you need the inserts the inserts are these guys here that you can actually pull out, wash, all of those sorts of things. But those are the level 3A inserts on them. Now moving on to the plates themselves. Again, level 4 plates. It is a ceramic up front. And then behind there, it does have UHW and MPE, um, which is a great system. Polyethylene is what you'll see it called a lot. You guys can see it is uh, all the ratings rather there on the back. This one here was produced relatively recently as of when I'm testing this video. So... Hopefully it will be good to go, but let's find out. We're gonna start out with the soft armor down there and probably test one of the harder rounds to stop. This is a Federal 357 Magnum, 158 grain Hydroshock coming out of a five inch barrel here on my Smith & Wesson 686. And let's see how it does. <laughs> let's check it out. Probably tough to see there on camera, but that was our entrance hole right there. And let's undo these guys. And as you can see, nothing at all there, so it stopped it. We'll put a few more pistol rounds in there, but again, I have a full review on these where we just shoot the crap out of it. But we'll put a few more in there for entertainment, then we'll move on to the hard plates. Next up, we got some 165 green Remington 40 Smith & Wesson out of a Glock 35. Let's check it out. One thing I don't think I mentioned is that the box down there is full of clay, wet clay, because it just rained yesterday. So it weighs about 40 pounds. It does have some resistance behind it like it would have when you're actually wearing it. So there you go. We had our impact right there. And of course, nothing passed through as I expected. Now, let's move on to the hard plate. 
Whenever I'm reviewing or testing armor, I always debate whether to work my way up from easier things to harder threats or to just go straight with the hardest one. And that's what we're going to do today. So we have this black tip 30-06 and we're going to shoot it here out of my 1903 beautiful rifle. And uh, just so you know, the plate is probably 15 feet away. So we're effectively getting uh, muzzle velocity, uh, or rather, yeah, muzzle velocity at this distance. Let's see. Very interesting results there. I think I mentioned in the intro that, again, this is level four with the level three, or rather in conjunction with level three. I wanted to test it on its own because it has ceramic and polyethylene. I figured it might stop it, and it almost did. I mean, almost. This thing barely came out. That's just a fragment of a bullet that poked through the rear. So we're gonna put it back in the vest, test it as it's designed, and see if it stops that. Rarely do I actually bring two of the 30-06 uh, AP rounds, but again, I wanted to test it both ways. So we have another one here, and uh, we got the plate in the carrier, and we're going to see how it does. I'm going to try not to hit the same spot. We shall see. Let's see. So there's no doubt that 30 out 6 AP is packing a punch. You guys can see we hit higher up. The initial hit was down here. And I'm going to try to get this plate out. It might kind of be stuck in there. Let's see. But one thing before I do that, no pass through. So it did indeed live up to level four standards with that, uh, in conjunction rather, with the soft armor. So let me see if I can pull this one out. That one was actually stopped by the plate itself. Very interesting. So. Here's the second shot, nothing got through at all. And again, just a piece of bullet made it through with the second one. So that's a pretty gaping hole there that you get from that 30-06. But we're gonna keep hitting this plate and just kind of see what happens. Before we continue shooting this thing, I just wanna say it met its rated standard. It did what it said it's gonna do. Now it's just kind of fun time. So we have a Sword International carbine here. And uh, as you guys can see there, some of that fun green tip which some armor definitely has a problem with that's for sure but we'll see how it does again we're right up on it as well let's see I put it right off to the side of it. I figured that was enough clearance, and it was. As you guys can see there, it's bulged out a little bit more, but it stopped it just fine. Let's keep going. Next up, we have some M80 ball coming out of my scar. And uh, again, we're right up on that target. It's just funny to see the distances here. And this, of course, is a machine gun, so we'll see if we can keep two on it. <laughs> I think we got three on it. We at least got two on there. I'm not sure if the third one hit or not. You guys know better than me because you guys saw the slow motion. Uh, regardless though, those two hits right there pushed it out. What it did was it separated the ceramic layer from the UH WMPE layer. So that's kind of cool just to see. And to point out if it was in the carrier, that separation wouldn't happen. So it would keep it together. But because it's not, kind of get a little bonus and get to see, you guys can see those ceramic tiles there. And that is what's breaking up those armor piercing type of rounds. And then the UHW MPE here in the back is what's catching the rest of the fragments there. So pretty cool to see actually up close. But I don't know. I feel like we should shoot it some more. At this point, there's enough ceramic missing from the plate that I do think some of these rounds are going to go through, which is kind of the point. Here on the channel, we kill all armor, but this is M193 coming on my G36 which is also a machine gun and got an OSS can out there and we will see what it can take. Should be good entertainment if nothing else. We 
we were losing light really quickly out there at the range so we had to come back to the dock to finish out the review a couple things we always want to talk about when we're talking about armor and number one is going to be weight so of course we mentioned already that these are just under six pounds the actual plates themselves uh, the actual carrier weight will vary of course depending on your size again this is a size large and uh, obviously if you get a 4x it's going to be a different weight just because they have have to use more armor than they would with the large so kind of tough to say there um, but it is relatively lightweight armor being UHW MPE and of course the more you wear it with any kind of flexible armor whether it be soft or something like the Fraz which we reviewed be reviewed before if I could talk um, it does get more pliable more malleable and kind of you can get it a little bit more snug with it um, but right now in terms of price point they have a combo kit going on so basically you get your concealed carrier that we've used throughout this video then you also get a tactical carrier like we have here so it has all the molly and all that stuff on there that most folks would want for a tactical environment um, and then you get the two plates as well and it's 999 dollars now code mr guns and gear will also get you uh 10 off on that that and that's site wide just for folks that haven't seen my earlier videos with safe life and uh again all made in vegas i've been out to the factory if you guys haven't seen my video where i went out there check it out um but yeah all made there and uh for american made product that lives up to its rating level at the weight that this comes in at i think it's a good value um but ultimately that's up to you guys to decide and uh that's where we'll have to end the video. If you guys have any questions about the armor system that we used here today, you can always post them down below in the comment section. However, the best place to reach me is over at my Facebook page. I actually see all the messages over there on Facebook. Sometimes it takes me a while to get back to you because there's just literally hundreds of thousands of you and only one of me. Um, but elsewhere that I post content like Parler, Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case may be, YouTube. <laughs> I don't always see the comments because of the way the interface works. Um, so I can't reply to everybody on those platforms. So there is that. If you guys like this type of video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And according to my analytics, about 70% of you haven't. Um, so do that and then hit the notification bell as well. So you can see when I put up new videos, I put out at least three videos a week here on the channel. So if you're not seeing that, uh, you can also sign up for my email list at mrgunsandgear.com under the sign up tab. And uh, that way I'll send out an email at most once a week with all of the videos since the last email went out. And that way there's no social media giant uh, protecting your eyes from my content. I can go straight to you. So there is that. But I think that's the end of my spiel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I truly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.